Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make an ice cube spiral. I started by turning the shirt inside out and then smoothing it. And you want to pick where you want the center of your spiral to be and then just spiral it up. And I'm just doing this the good old fashioned way with my fingers. So I make a little pinch and I twist and with my other hand I'm creating pleats. And you want to try to have your pleats not overlap each other. Once the spiral is all spiraled up, it's time to secure it. I like to use rubber bands, but you could use kite string. It's just whatever you prefer. And I got these rubber bands from Amazon and I really do like them for the spirals. And I have them listed down below in the description box, so go ahead and check them out. When adding my rubber bands, I try to have them intersect over the center of the spiral. And you'll watch me also try to tuck the loose tails into the nearest rubber band, creating a nice tight spiral. So for this particular spiral I had to plan ahead. So the night before I put dye inside my ice cube trays and I got these silicone ice cube trays off Amazon and I really do like them for this type of a project. I have them listed down below in the description box along with everything else that I use for tie dye. Something to keep in mind, once you've touched the dark ice cubes, don't go back and touch your lemon yellow. You want to batch 24 hours after the cubes have melted. So after they melted and it's been 24 hours, I came back to check on it and I noticed these clumps and I realized this was thickened dye. So what you're seeing is the sodium alginate. I don't think it really harmed anything, but it certainly didn't allow for the cubes to melt all the way. So don't use thickened dye for this type of a project. I let this shirt sit out on the patio for about four days. I was pretty frustrated by the fact that I had used the thickened dye for the ice cube. So I wasn't gonna do anything with this shirt, but I was curious to see what the results are. So I decided to rinse it out. So you want to start by using cold water to rinse away any soda ash that might still be reacting within the shirt. After four days, nothing's going to be happening. But anyways, cold water and gradually increase the water up to hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. Then from here, I take it to the washing machine and I do a hot water cycle. I do a second hot water cycle using Synthropol, which is a textile detergent that I get from Dharma and then a third hot water cycle using Milsoft, which I also get from Dharma, and that just brings softness back into the fabric after the dyeing process. And then I put it in the dryer, and we'll come back and we'll see our results. I also wanna point out that this is a Gildan Hammer Tee in a 2XL. I decided to go with a large shirt because I didn't know how much dye those ice cubes would create. So that's something to keep in mind. How big are your ice cubes and how big is your shirt? Well, 
here it is guys. Here's our shirt after it's been washed and dried. And it kind of reminds me of a beach ball. I'm actually really quite impressed. I'm glad that I decided to rinse this shirt out. I'm going to play around with it more. Uh, try different ice cubes that don't have sodium alginate in them. But overall, I'm really actually happy with this shirt. In the turquoise, there's these dark little veins, and I think that looks really cool. I don't know. I'm going to definitely do this again. So what do you guys think of this shirt? Please leave me some comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already, leave a thumbs up and click the bell for future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing. Ha <laughs> ha